When you're reading date values in an Excel like this, you're actually going to see something like this in your flow, which is going to break things. This video explains what expression you can use to fix the value. In flow, when you're reading data from an Excel spreadsheet, what you'll actually see as the value that you pull out is not the string-like value that you're seeing there in the spreadsheet, you're actually going to get a number which represents the number of days since the end of 1899. So for example, a date like this, 13th of January 2020, is actually going to look like this. Because it turns out that's how many days there are since the end of 1899. But you may ask, what is this decimal place. Well, that represents the time. Because if we look at my spreadsheet more carefully, going in there, I've actually got a time of 5.15 p.m. and 20 seconds. If you were dealing with just the date, then that's fine because any little bit of Googling will allow you to find the following formula. You're adding the date from your Excel to the 30th of the 12th, 1899, as an integer in the format year, month, day. But the fact it's an integer is a problem. How are you going to deal with those times which were after the decimal place? So I decided to use the add seconds function instead. There are 86,400 seconds in a day, 60 seconds per minute, 60 minutes per hour, times 24, 86,400. So if I multiply that number by the number I got from Excel, number of days, I'm going to get the total number of seconds. And then if I do an add seconds function, I'm going to get the time that I needed that away. Multiplying my variable by that number in an expression just looks like this in my flow. But of course, it's never that simple. Add seconds needs an integer. This multiplication wouldn't give me an integer, so I had to do a format number to make sure that I got one without decimal places. Put it all together with the format for the time as well, and you get this beast of an expression. But the one thing I'm happy to say about it is, well, it works, thank goodness. So here we have a flow to test the concept. I just have a variable that I've put in the number that I got from Excel. I'm going to put the result here, and then this is how I get the result. So this is my formula. So when we look at the flow run for that one, we can say, yep, we passed in that value, and we did the calculation in the final step, and it has faithfully come up with the date the same as I had in the spreadsheet, including the time down to the second. 13th of January 2020, 5.15pm and 20 seconds. They match and therefore my expression works. I love it.